of the opportunity to worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. Knowing that God is a good God. Amen. He's good all the time. We we welcome our sister pastor, Pastor Paul Amen. Rose. Amen. Thank God for him and for uh, the, the spirit that he brings to the worship service. Yes. Amen. Today Amen. we are certainly praying for the condition of our world. We're praying for the family of uh, the George Floyd. We're uh, praying for all of those who are rioting. We're praying for all of those families who have lost loved ones. Yeah. And if it ever we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Amen. Amen. And so as we go into another worship service, this virtual worship service, we pray that you have your communion elements ready. And at the end of this service, we will celebrate uh, in our virtual communion. And so we hope that you are ready for that. Let us share together our uh, foundational scripture. Then Samuel took a stone and, and set it up between Mizpah and Asher, and, and called his name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. We thank God that he's was in the helping business. Amen. And when if nothing else could help, we know that God has helped us. Amen. And so the psalmist said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. Yeah. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, Pastor Rose is coming, and he will give for us our prayer requests as it is. The first of the month, we're going to do that and, and lift up these names of those who are asking for prayer. And then he will give for us our opening prayer. And then after he has completed that prayer, we will be in the hands of Reverend Nathaniel Black as he leads us in praise and worship. God bless you, Pastor Rose. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Yes. Truly, it is another blessing to be here another day, hallelujah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. to worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes, truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Our second shot in this, we want to pray for the deaconess, deaconess Sean Taylor and her family, yes. deaconess Christine Brown. We want to pray for Minister Alicia McKinney and her family, Reverend James Allen and his family, yes. Reverend Gerald Caldwell and his family, Reverend Nathaniel Black and his family, Reverend Hayward Hobbs and his family, Reverend Paul Rose Jr. and his family, Reverend Paul Rose III and his family, Reverend Dennis Booker and their family, Reverend Dr. Cheryl Williams and her family, Reverend Dr. Dwayne Moore and his family, Mary Ann Brigham, Pauline Story, Genevieve Redmond, Delores Wooten, Marie Baker, Debbie Lewis, Nicole Lake, Pam Lee, uh, Patricia Lee and the Jones, the Mitchell Shepherd family, Cassie Parsons, Lucy and Puckin, Sister Ivor Merritt, Sister Katrina Sutto, Sister Irma Cannon, Sister Marie Jones, Sister Barbara Brown, Sister Giselle Adams, Sister Ruby Carter, Sister Helen Williams, Sister Evelyn McGregor, Sister Irene Mitchell, Sister Lisa Pruitt, Sister Norma Elwood, the Weems family, the House family, the High South family, the Gidry family, the Proctor family, uh, my, uh, Sister Betty Duncan and her family, I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, Kevin Duncan and his family, uh, Deacon Thompson and his family, Deacon Walker, Deacon Amos Brown, Deacon Carlton Mathis, and the Hudson family. We give praise and honor to the Most High God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us go to the throne of grace. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come again, Father. We thank you for our last night's slumber and sleep. And our early morning rising, Father, we thank you for all the families you have given us, Father. We thank you for the direction you led us in, Father. Yes. You said if you raise up a child in the way it should go, it will never depart. Father, yes. we thank you again. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We know it's evil time, Father, but you can put the bits of praise and salvation up around us. Yes. Hallelujah. Take us to our destination and bring us back safely. Yeah. Father, we ask your blessings over every household. Yeah. We ask your blessings over 
your anointing over all those that are sick, all those with the Kabbalah 19, Father, all those in our love families, Hallelujah. We ask your blessings over the entire church of Ebenezer Baptist Church. We ask your blessings over the leadership, over the pastor and all his family. We ask your blessings over the election coming up. We ask your blessings over the leaders of our city and state and our government, Father. We thank you again, Father, for we know we can do all things but fail. Hallelujah. We ask that you watch over our children. Take our youth to and from their destinations. Watch over their leadership, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I will bless the Lord my soul and Yes, sir. So I encourage the people of God today yes. to 
The race isn't given to the swift nor to the strong. All right, the one all that right. endure. Amen. 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 This is our first Sunday. So I want to go back just a little bit. Yeah. All right, all right. Ready. Ready. Pray far away. Rugged cross. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The emblem of suffering and shame. Pray. Pray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Spirit to use him. Yeah, hallelujah, Jesus. We 
thank God for each and every one of you. This is a marvelous day. Amen. Amen. To worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. Uh, because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing, the Lord is still worthy. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we have to praise our way through trouble. Yes. In order to get to where God wants yes, us sir. All right. to be All right. served. I yes, sir. I want to call your attention to the 30th number of Psalms. Psalm chapter, I'm sorry, Psalm number 30. We'll look at just one verse. Thirtieth division of Psalms and the first verse. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. It says, I will extol thee, O Lord. All right. For thou hast lifted me up Amen. and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. Hallelujah. I will extol thee, O Lord, for All thou right. hast lifted me up All right. and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. For a couple of minutes, I want to talk about I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Yes. Amen. I'm so glad Amen. that Jesus <laughs> lifted me. Have you ever seen a person that didn't know how to help themselves? Mm. Self-help is generally described as those actions which tend to improve one's social or economic position. All right, all In right. In the 60s, there uh, were a number of efforts made to assist people as they tried to lift themselves up by their own bootstraps. All right, pray, pray. They had names like Project Lifting, yeah. Operation yeah. Bootstrap, and Helping Hands. Pray, pray. Those were among the many names that described self-help projects. Yes. But some worked to help people get jobs or acquire homes. Uh -huh. Others worked to help people improve socially. Amen. Amen. As these programs unfolded, they usually came upon two types of people. Mm. Those who wouldn't help themselves uh -huh. and those who couldn't help themselves. All right. All right. Those who wouldn't help themselves and did not desire to improve were comfortable in their condition. Mm. Others, however, were uncomfortable but could not Help them say it. All right, all right. This is where self-help type programs gave them a boost to escape the grips of poverty or poverty and ignorance. Pray, pray. There are there were some people who couldn't be helped by a self-help program because they were spiritually lost. All right. Their desire and thirst for personal achievement had vanished. The inner drive needed to climb out of their Dilemma was not present. Mm, they right. were hopeless. They were helpless until the Lord came in. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When we could not help ourselves, I stopped by to tell you Jesus gave us a helping hand. Hallelujah. When we were spiritual wanderers, Jesus showed us the way. Even today, some people think that there is no God. Some people think that God does not care about his children. Mm -hmm. Some think that God does not have the power to rescue us from trouble. Pray, yeah. pray. Yes, this world is in a terrible fix, Hallelujah. just Hallelujah. in case you don't know it already. The coronavirus has killed thousands of people. Pray. The crooked police keep killing our young black men and women on the streets. Yeah. People are rioting in the streets because right. they are tired of being tired. Pray, yeah. pray. Then you have an orange man who has been elected president of the United States 
who blasphemes God in order to take a picture in front of God's house holding God's word. Pray, yeah. pray, pray. I'm telling you, uh, sometimes it's easy to think that God has gone on vacation. Pray, pray. Well, I came by to tell yeah. you that I don't uh, care how bad things get. God is still good. No matter what happens, we must continue to trust that God knows what he's doing and he knows what's best for us. All right. We must not lean to our own understanding, but we must in all of our ways acknowledge him and let him direct our yeah. path. Pray, pray, pray. We must not give up and we must not give out but we must continue to look to the hills Hallelujah. from which cometh our help because Hallelujah. all of our help comes Thank from the Lord. Thank you. We must remember Thank what David said when he said, weeping may stay overnight, uh -huh. but joy Hallelujah. shows up in the morning. Hallelujah. We must remind ourselves of what the songwriter said when they said, I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. Thank you. We must put God first and foremost in our lives. We must seek to please and praise God in everything that we do. All right. We must follow the prescription that God gave us when he said, if my people uh -huh. who are called uh -huh. by my name will, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, hey, I hey. will forgive uh, their sin, uh, and will heal uh, their uh, land. No matter how bad the world gets, all right. I came to tell you that God is still worthy to be praised. Hey. We must praise God through our test in order to get to our testimony. Hey, hey. As Christians, we should be forever thankful to God for his mercies and kindnesses. For without his strong saving hand, we would still be sinking in the sea of life. Praise hallelujah. Our text for today first considers David as he gives praise to God for his wondrous works in his life. In the first three verses of this chapter or this passage, David lists five reasons that God should be praised. All right. Number one, he praises God because God has lifted him up. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Number two, he praises God because God has protected him from his enemies. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Number three, God has healed him after he got sick. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number four, God has saved his soul. Yeah. And number five, God has given him a new outlook on life. Yeah. Yeah. David had good reason to praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. He was lifted from a mere shepherd boy to the highest position of the land Hallelujah. as king of Israel. Yeah. He was protected from the wrath of King Saul who tried to kill him constantly. He was healed of a painful disease as a result of his sin. All right. His sin with Bathsheba was forgiven him when he expressed remorse and begged for a clean heart. All right. His life was spared despite his faults to see a ripe old age. Hey, hey. When David declares that he will extol or praise the Lord because he lifted him. Hallelujah. He announced a proclamation of gratitude for a loving God who had picked him up, Hallelujah. turned him around, Hallelujah. and placed his Hallelujah. feet on solid Amen. Amen. There are many today who have not achieved their maximum potential in life because they have given up on themselves. All right, all right. Some have made mistakes in life and have thrown up their hands in defeat giving Satan the victory. Some doubt their own abilities and are afraid to make a step. Right, right. Others fear that they will fail so they never try. All right. There are some who are trapped in the never ending cycle of welfare and public assistance and they have dismissed the hope of a better life as a dream that will never happen. All right. There are those who are in need of a helping hand, but God has a plan to lift every one of his children up 
to high and high. Hey, hey. It is not his intention that his people wallow in despair, live in poverty, or be in want. All right. And so there is a four point formula that we want to call God's project lift that can help any man or woman rise above their present circumstance mm. by the power of God. Right. The first step to lifting ourselves is to get rid of our old lifestyle uh -huh. and get a new life in Christ. All right. All right. Our old lifestyle is filled with negative attitudes and habits as well as demonic spirits. Right. Right. The new life Christ offers includes a new outlook and a new approach to life. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, If any man be in Christ, uh -huh. he's a new creature. Uh -huh. Old stuff is passed away, uh -huh. and new stuff is before us. Great picture. The second step has to do with inspiration. It involves receiving the flow of inspiring ideas, encouragements, and supports that come from the Holy Spirit. All right. Many can't reach their goals because they can't get themselves motivated or fired up to go for it. Hey, hey. Christians who are climbing out of the morrow of life must make time for the Holy Spirit to speak to them in Bible study, regular worship, and personal prayer. Amen. Amen. This inspiration that we speak of serves the great purpose of encouraging us when we despair by reminding us that when we can't see our way out, Jesus is a way maker. Uh, it reminds us that when we can't open the door of opportunity, yeah. we serve a God who opens doors that have been closed and makes a way out of no way. Hey, hey. The third step involves developing a strong faith that God will provide. All right. There are many who are in a miserable estate because they have lost faith in God and faith in themselves, wow. their fellow man and in God. All right. They have concluded that nobody cares, but when friends and family and loved ones have turned their back on us, our faith tells us that God does care. Pray, pray. When the no good police leave us dead in the street, the we Lord. need to know that God cares. Pray, pray. When suffering from the virus causes us to be all by ourselves, we need to know that God cares. Pray, pray. Cast your cares on Jesus. Why? Because he cares for you. Hallelujah. We cannot let the bad things that's going on in the world cause us to lose our faith in God. All right. We cannot become so bogged down because of these no good politicians that we lose faith in God. Great no matter what comes our way, we must keep our faith in God, the one who woke us up this morning. We must keep our faith in the God who feeds us when we're hungry Pray. and heals us when we get Pray. sick. Pray. No matter what, we must keep the faith in God. Hallelujah. Well, preacher, what is faith? Faith is knowing that you are walking the tightrope of life and being unsure whether you will make it to the other side Pray. Pray. without falling. But you step out anyway, knowing that if you fall, that God's safety net will catch you and put you back on your feet Hallelujah. again. Hallelujah. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, All right. the evidence of things not seen. Faith is stepping into the dark corridors of unknown tomorrows, confidently saying, I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. Hey, hey, hey. I heard the songwriter said, I don't know how long it will be, nor what the future holds for me. But this I know if Jesus leads me, I will make it home someday. Amen. Amen. The fourth, the fourth element of God's lift program involves training. Uh-huh. 
Without training, we cannot realize the full potential of what God has in store for us. All right, all right. We lose much of the inspiration available if we are not trained. Our faith is never fully developed if we are not trained to use our Bibles and understand our faith. All right, all right. Even in the secular sense, training is required. Right. Many apply for jobs with little or no training, uh -huh. and though they go out and seek opportunities, they cannot get them because they are not ready to receive them. Right. Uh -huh. Second Timothy 2.15 reminds us to study to show thyself approved unto God. All right. A workman that needeth not be ashamed, what rightly dividing the word of truth. Finally, there are many who can testify that they have received a helping hand from the Lord. Pray, pray. David declared, I will extol thee. I will praise the Lord because <clears throat> the Lord has lifted me up and forgiven my sins and healed my body I and saved I my am. soul. I am. Somebody listening in today knows what David was talking about when, because in that time of trouble, the Lord made a way for me. Somebody am. listening today can I testify am. that a mighty fortress is my God, I a very present help in the time of trouble. Right. Somebody can testify that the Lord is a rock in a weary uh -huh. land and a shelter uh -huh. in the time of the storm. The record is clear. God is lifting us up and because he's in the lifting up business and I'm so glad uh -huh. that Jesus lifted me. Right. Right. I can hear the saints testifying through the years Hallelujah. of how Jesus lifted him. Remember the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years, Jesus lifted her up. Peter's mother-in-law, who had been stricken with a fever, was healed when Hallelujah. Jesus touched her and lifted her up. Amen. Peter, Amen. walking on the water, began Hallelujah. to sink and cried out for Jesus to save him and Jesus lifted him up. Amen. Somebody here can testify with the songwriter, I was sinking deep in sin, uh, far from the peaceful uh, shore, uh, very uh, deeply stained uh, within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of uh, the sea, yeah. he heard my despairing uh, cry, uh, the waters uh, lifted me now, safe am I. I was sinking in the sea of foolishness, but love lifted me and gave me wisdom. I was sinking in the sea of weakness, but love lifted me and gave me strength. I was sinking in the sea of sorrow, but love lifted me and gave me joy. I was sinking in the sea of despair, but love lifted me and gave me hope. I was sinking in the sea of loneliness, but love lifted Great. me and gave me comfort. When nothing else could have had love Great. lifted me. I don't know about you, Great. but I'm glad Jesus lifted me. Yes, sir. When I was sick, yeah. Jesus lifted me. All right. All right. When I was in trouble, yeah. Jesus I lifted yeah. me. Yeah. When I was in sin, I Jesus lifted me. Yeah. When I was lonely, yeah. Jesus lifted yeah. me. Yeah. When Satan had me bound, yeah. Jesus yeah. lifted me. Yeah. I'm so glad he picked yeah. me up. Yeah. He turned yeah. me around. Yeah. Yeah. Any place yeah. 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 I be yeah. on solid ground. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. Song to sing. Yes, I'm glad yes, he gave me a new walk to walk. I'm glad yes, he gave yes, me a new talk to talk. I'm yes, glad yes, he gave me a new yes, song to yes, sing. Yes, I'm glad yes, he lifted me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hear you. God yes. is in the lifting up business. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. I don't care what's going on in the world. Jesus has the ability, he has the power Pray. to lift you up. Yes, sir. If you sick, let, let him lift you. Pray. If you don't have any resources, your money is funny and your change is strange, 
Let God lift you. you Amen. If Amen. you are suffering from depression, Amen. let Jesus lift you. Yes, sir. If trouble is all around, yes. seek Jesus and let Jesus lift you. I don't know how you feel about it, My God. but I'm so glad yes, that Jesus lifted me. Yes. Yes. And when he lifted me, he picked me up. Hallelujah. Yeah. He turned me all the way around. Yes, sir. And he placed yeah. my feet on solid ground. Amen. Yes, and Amen. he gave me the testimony Hallelujah. that I'm so glad yeah. that Jesus lifted me. Yes, sir. God bless you and God keep you. Hallelujah. Here's our prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad yes, Jesus lifted me He has lifted us to higher heights. Amen. Amen. He's lifted us to a better life. Go ahead and get your communion elements. It be grape juice, can be Kool-Aid, can be iced tea, <laughs> be crackers, bread, whatever it is. Go ahead and get your elements ready. On the same night that Jesus was betrayed. Yeah. He took bread and he blessed it. All right. Passed it to his disciples <laughs> and said, take, eat. This is my body. Oh, yeah. Then he took the cup and poured into it the wine of that day mm. and said, drink ye all of it. For this cup symbolizes the blood that was shed for the remission of your sin. We thank God for the sacrifice <clears throat> that God made on that old rugged cross yeah. when he gave up his life in order that we might live. And so let us partake of that which symbolizes the broken body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Let us partake of the bread. As soon as I get the juice over, we'll do that too. <laughs> Let us partake of that which symbolizes the blood that was shed for the remission of our sin. I'm so glad Amen. That, sir, Amen. that Jesus lifted me. Certainly we want to thank you for joining us today. In this virtual worship service and we will be here next Sunday same time same channel and Facebook live YouTube live or on our teleconference line we pray that you will join us we pray that you will keep each other in prayer knowing that God answers the prayers of the righteous the scripture says that when they have finished eating they sing a hymn and they went out and so as we go out, know that God's blessings be upon you and know 
that he has given each of us a testimony, Jesus has lifted us. God bless you. Have a marvelous week. And keep God in the forefront of your mind. God bless. Thank you.